going on everyone? So this is the first time vlogging since we got back from vacation, which was last Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Um, yeah guys, I need to do a lot of explaining what's going on right now and I've been so busy and the reason why I've been so busy is because when I was in the Bahamas, I actually booked something with bodybuild.com to do a three day photo shoot with them two weeks from now. So when I was at that all inclusive at the Bahamas, I ate like crazy. I have to explain myself. I got back and I will show you on my app how much weight I gained in less than one week. So the day before I went to the Bahamas, I weighed in right at like 186. And then the day after getting back that Friday, so last Friday, I weighed in right at 205 pounds. So that's 17 and a half pounds that I gained in less than a week on vacation. And then I have a photo shoot in two weeks, so I have to lose every bit of that weight in less than two weeks to get ready for this photo shoot. So I have been killing myself, uh, going extremely low calories. I haven't had any carbs besides vegetable carbs since last Thursday. Uh, so my energy levels are so bad right now, but we're gonna get into the video and I'm gonna kinda explain to y'all what I'm gonna be doing uh, prior to this photo shoot to get ready in less than two weeks. So before we get into the rest of the video, I wanna show you a little physique update. Uh, this morning, so I already lost over 10 pounds. So like I said, I was 205. And then when I started really dieting and lowering my carbs, a lot of that was water weight. So I lost, uh, I think eight pounds in just like one day. Uh, so Saturday I weighed myself and I lost like eight pounds, but a lot of that is water weight. So this morning I weighed in right at 193. So I lost a good amount of weight because a lot of that was water weight, but now 193 I think is where it's gonna get hard because that is actually body fat and then that's when I'm gonna have to start losing. So this is my physique right now. Not anywhere close to where I should be for a photo shoot. I have a long, long way to go. I don't know what I was about to say there. A lot of work to do. So a long ways to go. I mean, I still have abs, but I need to cut down a lot. So I need to lose about probably 10 more pounds in less than um, you know a week and a half now. So this is just my physique right now, 193. I wish I would have taken video last week on Friday. I told Shelby I was going to do it to kind of just get videos and stuff and photos, but we never did. I was literally probably out to here just bloated. Uh, it, it was really bad. Uh, I wish I would have done that, but I was so embarrassed that I wasn't going to show y'all. So let's get into the video now. <laughs> So before we get into the main topics of the video, I wanted to show you what I've been having every day for lunch. This has been uh, my go-to meals, either green beans or broccoli, just a lot. I got a whole bag of green beans here and five ounces of chicken. And then I may or may not have some almonds just to get some healthy fats in. But besides that, this has been my lunch for about six days now. So I know a lot of y'all are gonna be like, why in the world did you let yourself get that fat over vacation if you knew you had a photo shoot in two weeks? The honest truth is, is because we booked this vacation uh, at the beginning of the year and we spent a lot of money on this vacation and it was all inclusive and I wanted to actually eat and enjoy my vacation. And so that is why I allowed myself to get uh, big. We spent uh, like $5,000 and I was like, if I'm spending $5,000 on this vacation, I'm gonna eat the good food that's there. And me gaining 17 pounds was with me actually working out twice a day. I would go in the morning and do like hit cardio or just regular cardio for like 45 minutes. And then later on that afternoon when Shelby would take a nap or something, I would go and actually work out in the gym. So yeah, it was pretty bad, but it was nothing I could do about it because I tried to keep it down as low as possible. And I did eat a lot, I will admit, uh, probably way more than what I should have, but it wasn't excessive like what you would think as far as how much weight I gained. You would never have thought I would have gained that much weight. But it was because my body's not used to eating all those carbs, so I would eat 
uh, three meals a day, just like regular three meals. And just because my body's not used to having carbs on a daily basis and stuff, and then I was dieting for so long, because I've already been dieting for like two months. So I was already lean, uh, doing photo shoots, and so my metabolism slowed up. And like I said, my body's just not used to having normal foods anymore, so that when I started having normal foods all the time, it just was like storing everything. So that was the issue. But I know where I have to get to and I'm gonna make it happen. It's just gonna suck because this weekend, I actually fly to China. So not only do I have two weeks to lose around, you know, that 17 pounds, but I have to do it while traveling in a different country. So this Sunday I fly out to China and then fly straight from China to Boise, Idaho where I'm doing a three day photo shoot with them. So it's gonna be a lot of fun to see if I can do this. Now I wanna kinda of explain to y'all how I'm getting ready for this photo shoot. I know a lot of people at the end of this two weeks is gonna wonder you know, what I did and what the magic was of me getting this lean this quickly. Uh, guys, I'm here to tell you there is no magic uh, to getting lean, it is hard work. When you see me do this, this is extremely hard. I feel horrible, like today has been rough. The last few days have actually been really tough because having zero carbs besides vegetable carbs, you have no energy. I have no energy to do cardio, I have no energy to work out. It is nothing magical about it. It is all about hard work and pushing your body to the limit. So when someone says that it's easy to lose body fat or, or to lose uh, a lot of weight and stuff, it's a lie. It's just no, it's nothing easy about it. There's no magic pill to make you skinny. Uh, there's supplements out there to help you get to where you wanna be but it's not gonna do the work for you. You have to diet extremely hard, you have to work out extremely hard, and that's the only way you're gonna get results. So that being understood here, guys, I'm not doing anything magical. Uh, my diet right now is just extremely low carbs. I'm not going keto because I don't have time to get into ketosis, and even if I could, I really don't want to because I have my proteins higher than what I would need to if I was going keto, and I wanna have carbs afterwards. I don't wanna go keto and then in two weeks from now just start eating carbs again because I wanna eat carbs. And that's the reason why I don't do keto to begin with is because keto is not a diet that I see myself doing long term because I love carbs. That's the reason why I'm not going keto. So I haven't been actually tracking my calories. I track my calories I think for the first two days in my fitness pal and my calories are extremely low. They're anywhere from 16 to 1800. Uh, calories right now and for a guy my size that is ridiculous but I know what I have to do to get there and would I recommend anyone crash dieting like this absolutely not this is not healthy this is not something I recommend anyone doing because at the end of this two weeks when I start eating uh, regular food and when I start eating more carbs and stuff I'm going to blow up because my body's just not used to having any other carb sources so I know that the rebound is going to be pretty bad but I have to do this because it is my job. So for anyone out there wanting to crash diet and stuff because they see me do it, you got to understand that's not gonna be something that you can hold off for a long time after crash dieting because you will have a big rebound. So that's my diet, just super low carb. My protein is about 250 grams. My fat is around 80 to 70 grams, so that's not even that high at all. So just calories in all are just really, really low. I'm doing cardio twice a day right now as well. So in the morning, I get up and do a lot of HIIT cardio or steady state for around 45 minutes. So uh, today was actually the first day I did just straight up steady state. The rest of the time for the six days already, I've been getting up doing circuit workouts, like just going around doing my full body circuit. So three sets of around 20 reps, nothing to actually make my body sore, but just keep my heart rate up and just lifting, um, you know, relatively lighter weight, but just going at it in a circuit form. So just burning as many calories as I can in the mornings or getting on the bike and doing bike sprints. I do around eight to 10 uh, sets of 30 seconds on and 90 seconds rest. And that's what I do a lot with my clients is bike sprints and treadmill sprints and stuff like that. Uh, but today was the first day I did uh, list cardio for uh, 45 minutes because my legs are sore. I went to New Fit yesterday 
and worked legs. And so my legs were already sore, so that was the only thing that I could actually do was just uh, get on the step mill and go for 45 minutes. Uh, my workouts are staying the same. I'm trying to lift as heavy as possible, trying to keep my muscle size while I'm crash dieting, which is extremely hard to do because being a natural athlete in general, it's hard to keep the size while dieting down because your body will start to use your muscle as fuel instead of body fat. So when I start losing just in general a lot of body fat, I lose a lot of muscle size. So this is going to be hard. Uh, for another week and a half now actually keeping that size, but I'm gonna have to do it So I hope that kind of helped give y'all a little idea of what I'm doing here uh, And like I said, I would not suggest anyone anyone to do this So I'm dieting crazy hard and this is what I have to deal with no, I'm not oh, Shelby's anyway. over here eating a sandwich <laughs> a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is after Death having <laughs> potatoes and ketchup for for lunch. I don't just eat potatoes and ketchup for lunch. Like an hour ago. This no, is pregnant like three life. Hours this ago. is pregnant life. And that wasn't my point. My point was I also ate chicken and broccoli. Uh, okay, chicken and broccoli, but I'm saying the potatoes with ketchup, it looked amazing. Like it was a full out. I like mean, it was good. Yeah, I bet it was. It looked amazing. So this is what I'm dealing with when I'm only eating vegetables. And Gainer is to be fair, digging into my crotch. What are you doing? I thought you were gonna stay in the other room. No, I'm telling. It's, <laughs> I'm joking. This is this is normal. I'm used to it. When I go to my family's house and stuff, they're all always eating cereal or you know pasta and gainers. What are you doing right now? Seriously, what are you doing? No, I'm used to it, so I'm not complaining because you know she can eat whatever she wants. Gainer, what are you seriously are you doing? So now a couple of hours have went by, I edited a video and then I had to do another video for Muscle Tech and it was the Why I Lift, but it's Santi's video. So the other one I did was for Fabian's, now it's Santi's and then next is going to be mine. So I had to do a reaction video. So this one was kind of the exact same way, it was just kind of awkward because I don't really know how to do these videos, it's just a reaction video on... Uh, their life and stuff and I just sit there and comment about you know different stuff about the video It turned out better. I think uh, because I actually know Santi uh, Fabian I didn't know at the time. I never met him, but Santi has actually uh, traveled with him a few times So I actually know him so I think this video turned out a little bit better now It is 430 and I did a little bit more editing and then about to head to the gym in just a little bit to get that over with because as time goes on and it gets later on in the day, my energy starts to decline, which I start off with pretty much no energy, uh, but if you can believe it, it actually gets worse throughout the day. So I'm gonna go over there, get my supplements, get my pre-workout, and then head to the gym. So before I take my pre-workout and show you all my pre-workout, I'm gonna show you the supplements that I take in the morning prior to doing cardio. So I do cardio on an empty stomach most of the time and then right now I'm doing cardio after every workout for around 30 minutes. So right when I get up in the morning, I will actually have a coffee with Shelby. So first off, I'm having caffeine uh, right off in the morning with a black cup of coffee. I don't put anything in it and then maybe around 30 minutes later we sit there and I get on my Instagram and stuff, we talk and then I will take my HydroxyCut Super Elite this is from Muscle Tech. This is my favorite fat burner on the market. I've tried a lot, but this one is honestly my favorite one. This will help get me going and help me, uh, you know, pretty much get focused because you know when you're dead in the morning and you're low carb, you need something that's going to help, uh, you know, push yourself when you're doing cardio. So I take three of these in the morning and then. Uh, sometimes in the afternoon, but for the most part I kind of skip that because I like having another cup of coffee and if I do another cup of coffee plus pre-workout, you know, it's just too much caffeine. So I take this three capsules right before cardio and then I will also add BCAs in a shaker cup. So I use like a scoop to a scoop and a half of the amino build. Uh, just to help preserve muscle and then I will add five grams of glutamine muscle tech glutamine just non flavor and I just mix it in with the amino build and that is the only thing I have prior to doing cardio and then the other supplements I take throughout the day like I said is coffee which is not really a supplement but it's caffeine so right now I'm living off of caffeine I have caffeine probably four to five times you know a day so I'm getting probably a gram of caffeine, which is not good. I'm not even sure what the overdose uh, dose is. I don't even know if you can really overdose. They say you can, but I know people that have like three, like three uh, energy drinks a day and they haven't died yet. So I don't know really what 
the overdose limited, but I know I'm getting too much than what I need. But this is to keep me alive right now for two weeks and then after the photo shoot, then I'll lay off of caffeine to get my body back to normal. For pre-workout today, I'm gonna take the pre-build, my favorite flavor, which is the gummy worm. This is so good. If you haven't tried the gummy worm flavor, you got to try it. So good, so I'm gonna take about a scoop and a half of this, uh, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. And then I also take clear muscle, okay? So I take this three times a day with my three biggest meals, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is gonna help preserve muscle uh, loss because you know when you're dieting like I was talking about earlier you can potentially lose muscle mass because your body actually eats up your muscle instead of your fat but this is just kind of like a protective shield to help protect muscle so I take this three times a day now gonna drink pre-workout and then head to the gym today is gonna be a push day well, I was planning on it being a full push day, but actually it wasn't because I did not hit triceps for whatever reason this gym was completely packed. It was a Wednesday night at 7 o'clock and it was just tons of people in there. So every machine and every equipment that we needed, it was taken. So we'd have to wait around for a long time. So this workout took a very long time and I did not have time to hit triceps. So let's go straight into this workout. Uh, started off with incline dumbbell bench press. I warmed up for around three sets until I got to the 120s and then I did the 120s for around four sets and I was aiming for around eight to 10 reps. Now on the last like few sets, I was only able to get, I think like maybe six reps. Uh, and then on the last set, I did five sets total. So on the last set, the fifth set, I did the 120s and then did a double drop set. So uh, this is that set. So I set the dumbbells down, went from the 120s to the 80 pound dumbbells and got out, I think eight reps. So just going to complete failure. Uh, on the drop set so that's all I'm targeting for is just going to uh, absolute complete failure and then I dropped it once more after the 80s to the 60 pound dumbbells uh, and, and then got maybe around maybe four or five reps not that many reps uh, this workout was tough and it wasn't the greatest workout now watching this footage back it, it actually looked like a better workout than what it was I'm so depleted during this workout. I haven't had carbs uh, besides vegetable carbs in six days and I feel terrible. I'm doing cardio every single day for at least 45 minutes a day. And if you do that for a long time, and my calories are super, super low, and if you do that for a long period of time, uh, you just feel like crap and this workout just felt horrible. So after doing the incline dumbbell, press went on to flat smith machine press i did five sets of these for around 10 to 12 reps and on the last set on the fifth set did a double drop set the exact same thing i did with the incline dumbbell bench press uh, so i went for that 10 reps and then uh, when i hit failure i dropped the weight I think maybe by like 25 pounds on each side so a total of 50 pounds on this Smith machine and this is actually the set uh, that I did the double drop set the reason why I like using Smith machine over like barbell and stuff uh, later on in the workout is because you're able to go to complete failure and not really worry about um, safety because you're able to rack it at all different points if I was using like the regular bench press I would need a spotter if I pushed myself to uh, complete exhaustion because you know you've run the risk of actually uh, that bar getting stuck on your chest but with the Smith machine that kind of eliminates that so I like using it uh, when I'm really uh, exhausted or I'm trying to just push my body to the limit where I'm just going to complete failure. So this was actually the last uh, drop I did and I'm just going for as many reps as I can, uh, squeezing as much as I can up at the top of the uh, movement. After doing all those pressing, now we moved on to shoulders so I just swapped the bench around and went with uh, military press. Uh, the reason why, again, I'm using the Smith machine over the barbell is because I don't have a spotter and Shelby's recording me, so I'm able to go to complete failure, and you're going to see here after this set why the Smith machine, I like using it, is because you're able to go all out and not worry about getting stuck underneath the bar. So I did five sets of these for uh, 10 to 12 reps. 
Uh, there it is, racked it, and then on the last set, on the fifth set, did a drop set, just a single drop set. I did not record. Shelby was not able to record that um, that set. Uh, after uh, that, went on to bar or barbell. This is not a barbell. This is an Arnold dumbbell press. I did four sets of these for around 12 reps. Uh, not using crazy heavy weight because after doing all these other press movements, my delts were pretty much shot. Uh, so this is just, uh, after I did the Arnold's for as many as I could, I did just regular presses for like maybe two more reps, just to squeeze out a few more reps. Uh, and then went on to dumbbell side raises. I did a total of five sets of these for 12 to 15 reps. Uh, using a little bit of momentum in there, not too much, but just uh, trying to use as heavy weight as I can. Uh, because when I'm cutting this many calories and when I'm dieting this hard, I need to lift as heavy as possible to try to keep that muscle size. Because if I cut all these calories and then start lifting super lightweight and just go for reps, I'm going to lose a lot of muscle. So when I'm doing this hard cut, I try to lift as heavy as possible. And that is super hard to do because you just don't feel like it and you're way weaker. So after doing those side raises, went on to pec deck, did five sets of these for 12 to 15 reps, super set with uh, a variation of push-ups. So I have one arm in front of the other for eight reps and then immediately swapped it up and did another eight reps uh, during the different variation. Uh, the last uh, exercise went into high to low cable fly. Uh, did five sets of these, super set with press. So once I uh, hit failure with the flies, I just pressed out with the cable. And that is the last exercise, guys. So if you want to give this workout a try, just go back, write it all down, or I'm going to have it down in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching. So you would think I did tons of cardio because Shelby went to the gym and left. I left uh, at 7.15 and it's 8.45. It's 8.45. So what I did was only 30 minutes of cardio. And then I wanted to explain to them the workout and I had to do like six takes outside of the gym. So I sat outside of Gold's gym in my car trying to do take after take, explain to them the workout. So you people are why I'm starving. Oh, yeah. So Shelby was nice enough to make salads. I am so like dead right now. Anna. So lightheaded. It is ridiculous. Oh, look at the salad. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, I can't wait to eat. Gainer, that's not for you. Oh, uh, so I guess chicken, uh, cheese. We got tomatoes. What else is in there? Red onions, nice. Baking bits. Baking bits. We've got, um, salad topping. Oh, look at Shelby's. We've got tons of eggs. So, I'm going to turn off the camera here and we're going to enjoy this salad before I fall over and pass out. I don't know if I'm over exaggerating, like maybe my mind's doing it to me. I don't know, but I seriously feel so bad. And you gotta understand, this is day six of having maybe 50 below carbs, just veggie carbs, and I'm having around 15 to 1800 calories. So that is why it's just so bad. So we got done eating that amazing salad, and yes, it was amazing, but I was still starving after that big salad. Right now, I'm at that point where I think I could eat like maybe three large pizzas. Uh, just nothing fills me up, uh, I guess because I'm just so low carb and my body's craving everything. Uh, so uh, now it is uh, 10.30, and I'm about to already have my last meal of the night because I uh, added up all my calories in my fitness pal, and I was only at like 1,250 calories. So I need more calories than that for sure. And then I need more protein. I was only at like 100 and I think 30 grams of protein a day. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my last meal because I need to head to bed because I'm so exhausted right now. Uh, so I know it's only been like an hour and a half since the salad, but uh, it's nothing I can do about it. I need to get some sleep. So let me show you what I did to have my last meal. I had a scoop of this Nitro Tech uh, casing gold, uh, so it's 25 grams of protein, and then I had a scoop of uh, the whey gold 
uh, cookies and cream. And then I mixed it into a pudding with some unsweetened uh, vanilla almond milk right there and then had a quarter of a serving of almond butter. Not much almond butter because I already had so much fats uh, with my salads. So not too much fat in there. And then I also added some of this uh, flaxseed that is good for omega-3s, has tons of that and fiber. And then added like some chai seeds, only like, I don't know, a quarter of a serving and stuff, which is good for fiber. So, and that's gonna be the last meal, so I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna go to bed straight after. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did guys, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I will see y'all next time. All right guys, peace. Uh, this is my fifth or sixth time trying to explain this workout. I, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place.